Adults are anxious, kids are anxious, and now school counselors are anxious as well about identifying and being able to help the families that really need help during this pandemic, these unprecedented times. Chris Pickle shows us how school counselors are coming up with some creative solutions. It's okay, we're gonna do everything humanly possible to connect with kids. That has been Counselor Jamie Clement's mission for more than 31 years. The pandemic is not changing her priority, just her approach. This is a whole new world. We miss our students so much. And from a school counseling perspective. I want to read their body language. I want to see their eyes. I want them to hear in my voice, you know, the emphatic care I have for them. But for now, that will have to come across virtually. Many schools are working to transition and adapt successful in-person programs to online. Things like the Lunch Bunch, where students can come together and meet for a meal and a friendly chat, as well as calming rooms, where students can decompress. A virtual calming room is number one for me to get going for everybody. As different as this year will be, Jamie is thankful that she'll have only one school to focus on. The previous year when I was at two, it was about 1,300 to one. So then it went down to 700 to one, and now it's 700 to two. Her load is lighter because the governor's school safety grant is funding a second counselor at Edison Elementary. And this additional help could not have come at a better time. That first kind of week or so really needs to be spent on developing relationships with kids. At Edison, students will have a daily survey that, depending on the results, could trigger the counselor to reach out. We're seeing counselors get extremely creative with their ability to adapt to these changes. Many are also setting up virtual offices that look and feel friendly. As counselors, the best we can do is be there for our kids, support them in whatever they're feeling, and still make, make them known that this is all going to be okay. Chris Pickle reporting there. Gotta love those Bitmoji offices, right? The biggest challenge is protecting the privacy of those students. Last spring, they said a lot of those chatty students really started to just kind of shut down when the conversation started moving online. So counselors are working more with families now to try and find the best way, whether it's on Zoom or on the phone, to continue those important conversations.